Hi guys, uh, so uh, it's been since Friday um, that I've had the pick line and this is, this is it right here. Um, it's in my right arm peripherally. Um, it itches to no end and it like, um, um, this is my third one. I should, I should be more coherent than this, but I guess being that it's three something in the morning that it's possibly that I'm not going to be coherent, whatever. Um, I just wanted to get on here and just let everyone know that I'm alive and I'm doing okay. And, um, this is not. It's, just, it's not been the most pleasant of experiences. My first pick line, I was basically in bed for two years. Um, and now we're trying to fight Babesia again. And it's, I'm getting so angry. Like, I'm getting so mad for no reason at everyone. For, for absolutely nothing. Um, which is ridiculous because anyone who knows me, I don't, I don't normally do that. Um, I'm trying to keep my emotions in check and keep everything, um, so whatever. Um, I'm not trying to do too much complaining, um, but it freaking itches. So I've been taking quite a bit of Benadryl. Um, it's not really doing too much. So I'm thinking maybe like a dog hair or something like that got in lo lodged in there or something. Um, I should hear back from the home care people, um, who are going to come and do the, um, dressing changes and stuff within the next day. If they don't call me tomorrow, I'm going to call them and just be like, what's up guys? Um, depressed a little because I don't feel like I'm deserving of like, I don't know, living. Um, recently just had a friend pass away. It was my, one of my friend's cousins and, um, he was like a brother to me uh, when we knew each other. We didn't know each other, like for a super long time, but it was always there for me whenever, but anyway, um, family is doing okay here. Um, just overly angry and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's either Bartonella or, or like Babesia rage because I've been so mad, so emotional for no reason none whatsoever and i i feel like i can't um force myself to do anything right this minute like it's already monday around 3 a.m give or take eastern time and i haven't been able to force myself to take a shower today or yesterday um I haven't been able to force myself to do much of any self-care other than, you know, keeping myself safe, away from people, whatever, wearing masks all the time. Um, I don't want to die from this. And I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, eventually my doctors, one of my doctors will be able to get the IVIG that I need so that I stop getting sick all the time. Um, anywho, I'm going to let this video end itself, I guess, and hopefully everybody's staying safe and just do it, I guess. Um, Lyme disease month is over, but that doesn't mean it's over for everybody. Um, just a short PSA, 350,000 people get it every year. 
according to the CDC, which it's probably a much larger number because, I mean, just a few years ago they were saying it was less than, like, what was it, 25,000, 25, something, I don't know, some extremely little number that it wasn't. And then so they raised the number up to 350,000 new cases per year. And I get that COVID-19 is bad and it's killing people. But I hate to be the bearer of bad news. And I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. Maybe it's just me. But did you did you notice that COVID-19 symptoms are basically the same as having Lyme disease, Herxheimer reactions? Um, I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but it's just too coincidental that they figured out a way to kill us quicker and and god forbid you know our immune systems are already super compromised because of all the antibiotics and all of the um all the the lack of absorption for vitamin d and things that keep you able to fight an immunity um I was talking to my Lyme disease doctor and he did mention that um, in order to get well, um, that I need to focus on getting my immune system in order because my immune system is not helping us out right now um, by you know getting anything done. It's basically just causing uh, infractions in my body and just making me not able to do the right thing physically to take care of myself. So when I get a cold, my body just doesn't know what to do with it. It just kind of lingers and presents itself in, in ways that it shouldn't. Like one time I had strep throat and it presented itself as a stomach ache to the point where the doctor was going to take out my appendix, which was not inflamed at all, so go figure. But I had severe, um, like severe tenderness in my abdomen. But it turns out I didn't have appendicitis or gallstones or any kind of kidney stones or anything. I had strep throat, which presented oddly. So my my body's doing some weird things, and it always has. Um. My, uh, what else is going on? Um, uh, for, for my posterior orthotic, um, hypotension, um, the doctor's making me have a higher salt intake, which most doctors disagree with. So I was also put on a beta blocker, uh, to try and help lower my pulse when I stand so that I don't get racy and my blood pressure will drop and then my, um, then I faint. So I, I guess uh, um, we're trying to work on that as well. So we're adding more salt via um, hydration nightly. Um, and we are also trying to make sure that uh, oh God, um, I'm, I'm working to try to get my narcolepsy meds again. I mean, I have some here. I'm just afraid to take them. They're not expired or anything. I'm just afraid to take them because if I ever get drug tested, someone's going to think I got day raped and I'm not about that life. Um, I, I want to be able to have a prescription for it saying, Hey, you can take this. Um, so I'm not going to take that until, but I have, um, I have my Vyvanse, which works well for my eating disorder as well as, as the, um, apparently it also helps with like, um, joint pain. I didn't know that. Um, so since I had been taking it, um, I've had less joint pain overall. <sighs> so I'm getting tired, but that's not true. Um, anyway, um, that's enough about me. <sighs> You know, we don't know when we're going to go. And a friend once told me this week that you just basically got to live your life. And right now I feel really guilty because I'm keeping the people 
in my life in prisons because I'm afraid, I'm so afraid that if I catch something, I'll die. Uh, or at least get extremely sick and not be okay with that. Um, so, you know, as far as going out with friends and going out with, you know, because he, the, the, the COVID-19, the COVID, sorry, COVID-19 doesn't have symptoms all the time. Um, sometimes you can be symptomatic, but you go out with that one friend, you get sick, you bring it home, you get me sick, I die. So I hate to quote that movie, but I love that movie. Um, the Martian, if it's mission critical, we die. So, um, I'm feeling like that that every everyone is kind of blaming me for not being able to go out and you know I'm starting to get to the point where I don't care like I'm like they want to go out and they they think that you know that they can protect themselves or whatever fine by me um I just wish that in the event that <laughs> I do get sick, I, it's over very quickly because I don't, I don't want to be around. I don't want a disease that's going to rip up my lungs into pieces. Um, I don't want a disease that's going to fill up my lungs. I mean, I'm already, ex I'm not exposed, but I'm already, um, uh, you know, nervous because of, I have asthma and that's, you know, a pre-existing condition, but I have a lot of other preambles as well. Um, you know, like the common variable immunodeficiency, Lyme disease, um, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, I mean, you name it with the exception of lupus, I probably have it. Um, so I am, I'm, I feel not great about being the person who's keeping everyone inside but at the same time like just give me a fucking break okay like I just I'm afraid of dying um this way anyone who's ever talked to me about how I want to go didn't know this is not it um anyway um I love all of you guys and Thanks for being in my corner. Thanks for fighting with me. And I hope that every day gets a little bit better because if it doesn't, I can't, I can't take this anymore. I can't take this too much longer. So anyway, um, I guess I'll try to go back to bed. Night.